All right, so winter's over and you are looking to get back on the road. Maybe you've been vaccinated and you feel safer about going out and taking passengers or doing food delivery, or you've just been away from it for a while. Whatever the reasons that you've been off the road, you want to get back on the road. And here are five things that I think you need to do to make sure you're ready to hit the road and go get that money. Hey, this is John from Ride Up State. I'm going to get right into it with you. The first thing that you're going to need to do, especially if you're going to be taking passengers, you know, you probably haven't been keeping your car as clean as you used to. So you're going to want to get it cleaned. I would suggest that you get it detailed. I don't think you necessarily need to get it professionally detailed, but you could go to one of these Jiffy Lubes or someplace like that. That'll clean up the interior for you for 50 or 60 bucks. If you've got some staining or something like that on the seats or the carpet, maybe you call up a professional detailer, pay about 150 bucks and get that interior spotless. Because the last thing you want is someone stepping into your vehicle and seeing that it's been dirty. If you've been carrying food around, one of the major, major things you're going to need to do is make sure you get the smell of the food out. I made a video about how to get uh, any kind of nasty food smell out of your car. It's going to be up one of these spots there. And you can check that out on some tips for keeping the smell out of your car. But one of the things that I'm going to recommend that you do is change that cabin air filter. It's had food smell circulating through it. If you've got a cabin air filter in your vehicle, change that out and that will help 100%. And like I said, get those odors and those stains out of the interior of your car. The second thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're caught up on your maintenance. If you live someplace where you run on snow tires, or maybe you haven't replaced your tires in a while, get some new tires and get on the road because old, bald tires, uh, snow tires, they're just not going to work well as the weather gets warmer. Change your oil, change your air filter. Make sure if you've been running on all seasons, get them rotated. Take care of any of those issues, those little niggling issues you've been waiting to take care of, get them done and get back on the road because you don't want a passenger getting in the vehicle and hearing a whining noise from a bearing that's gone bad or experiencing a rough ride or seeing a service light on your dash. That's going to make them rank you lower and possibly even misreport something saying that your vehicle was unsafe. So get all the maintenance done so that you know you're good to go when you hit the road. The third thing to do is talk to other drivers, whether it's on forums or locally, talk to other drivers in your market, ask them how the market is. If they tell you, oh my gosh, we're so swamped, please get out here. We can really use your help out here. Hey, you know, you know what that's like. You've been in that situation before where you feel like you're just getting ride after ride and you can't take a break. I know some people don't have a problem with that, but I mean, I like to take a break every couple of hours and, you know, get out of the vehicle and stretch. But if you're just going and going and going, then that can be a little problematic. So talk to other drivers, whether it's on forums, ask them how the market has changed. Maybe there's longer pickups. Maybe you're doing longer rides now. Maybe there were certain areas that used to be busy that aren't anymore because of city or county or state restrictions. Check with drivers that have been out there this whole time and ask them how the market is. And hopefully, if you have helpful people in your area, they'll talk to you about how you can adjust and make changes to the way that you drive, uh, especially if you haven't driven since the pandemic started. The fourth thing you're going to want to do is make sure you set some goals. You're going to want to set smart goals. I'll be talking about these more as they pertain to ride share and food delivery in the future. So smart goals, S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, repeatable, and time bound. You need to make goals that you know are going to help you get success. You're going to need to be able to measure them. You're going to need to make sure that you're not thinking, oh, I'm going to make uh, $5,000 a week. That may not be attainable in your market. $1,000 a week may not be attainable in your market. Whatever the case, you need to know what those goals are. 
need to know that you can repeat those goals and you need to have a time limit on those goals. So set those goals. Like I said, I'll go into more detail about SMART goals in a later video. Finally, if you never had it, you may want to consider picking up rideshare insurance. Now I'm going through this process right now of getting rideshare insurance. It's a little tricky when it comes to food delivery because from what I understand and what I've been told, you cannot get coverage for food delivery. And your rideshare insurance doesn't cover you if you're delivering food. And people may say, well, Uber Eats and DoorDash, they have insurance. Well, they have what's called excess insurance. So you need to go through your insurance provider first and then anything that they don't cover, then Uber and DoorDash will. Now the catch 22 is that if your insurance company finds out you've been delivering food, they might not cover your damages or damages to another property. So you may actually need to get commercial insurance. I'm going to talk a little bit more about all of this. In fact, I'm going to try and get a local insurance agent on the phone to talk about all the kind of nuances of this. And that's going to be coming up again in a future video. All right. So I hope this helped you. Remember, you need to get out there and you need to make sure number one, you've got your car cleaned, especially if you're going to be taking passengers, get that interior detailed. Number two, that you take care of your maintenance on the vehicle. Number three, talk to other drivers and make sure that you understand the way the market has changed. Number four, set smart goals. And number five, consider getting rideshare insurance. My name is John Wilkerson, and I thank you for watching these videos. If you like this kind of content, please give it a like and a subscribe. And remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.